Hello everyone, I welcome to you in this apparel computer edit design class in the part third of the waste coat designs. In the previous class we have learned about the upper standards development and final pattern making with the welt pocket designs. So in this class we will learn about the lining patterns designing of the waist coat so basically there are the following pieces in the lining patterns as like a, a front facing back facing front uh, patterns and the back parts so all these are the basic uh, parts we will have to design today so let's uh, start first of all we have to go to the create menu and we have to select the option of a trace and we have to trace the uh, this patterns in a clockwise direction and then right click and then ok so now uh, again we have to create right click and then ok again we have to go to the trace and we have to trace this front front patterns in a clockwise direction right click and then ok again right click and then ok now what we have to do right click and then ok now these two pieces we have uh, eliminated from this standards so now first of all what we have to do we have to join these two pieces so we have to go to the modifying tools and then we have to select the options of the combined piece and then we have to select both and this pieces and now we can see that uh, this pieces has been generated in the previous class also we have generated this piece now what we have to do so we have to go to the modify single point and then we have to readjust this in a proper manner like this so we have to make a straight and a smooth line like this uh, it should be proper horizontal now so what we have to do we have to go to the combine and we have to combine these three parts of line so this is the shoulder line right click and then ok now what we have to do now you come to the standard piece again and first of all we have to draft the back parts we have to go to the create trace and we have to trace the back part of the waistcoat line in a clockwise direction like this we have to select uh, right click uh, and then ok again we have to select the dot menu right click and then ok right click again and then ok now what we have to do first of all we have to realign the start we have to go to the advanced tool and then edit fisheye dot we have to select this point and we can reduce it up to here and then ok now the next process is that we have to select this both uh, the pieces and then we have to go to the modifying tools rotate and we have to select this one and then 
first of all we have to select this piece and select here and again we have to select one more right click and then ok now we can rotate it in this way after that we have to go to the flip menu and we have to select this one and we have to flip it like this in a bottom side we have to select and then ok now what we have to do we have to join these two pieces for that purpose we have to go to the combine and we have to select this line select the target line select the match point on set pieces so we have to select the match point on target pieces so now we can see that these two pieces has been merged together in a one after that we have to go to the create two point and we have to draw like this now this is as a standard as of the lining has been generated now what we have to do so first of all we have to drop to the facing so we have to go to the modify first of all we will have to smooth this point and we have to go to the combine and we have to combine this two in one after that we have to go to the create two point curve and from here we have to join at a 4 cm distance and hit the enter button like this and then okay now here we have to trace another one curve point from this point to this point we have to join and we have to draw a curve one more like this after these things uh, we can see that we have already uh, put it the inner folding into the upper of the waist coat garments patterns as a 3 cm so here we have to reduce 3 cm to the hemline so for that purpose we have to go to the offset menu and we have to select this one both and go to the cursor and we have to enter here minus 3 and the hit enter button similarly we have to select this line and then we have to enter minus 3 and hit the enter button right click and then ok now what is the next process next process is that we have to now the standards is completely ready for lining now we have to eliminate the first of all front facing patterns you have to go to the trace menu and you have to select this front facing outer line in a clockwise direction right click and then ok now this is your front facing you give the name as a front facing right click and then ok so this is the front facing has been created you go to the create annotations left click right click and then ok and give the name front facing ok you have to enter here go to the edit annotations front facing so how much piece you want cut you have to enter here cut two pieces and then okay. front facing is completely ready now we have to draft 
eliminate the patterns as a back facing so we have to go to the trace and we have to select this outer line in a clockwise directions okay you have to give the name as a back facing right click and then ok now we have to go to the annotations left click right click and then ok you right here back facing and then ok go to the edit annotations move and we can move it ok now is ok now we have to draft the front of the waistcoat lining patterns so we have to go to the trace and we have to trace it in a clockwise direction right click and then ok now this is the front facing it's ready so you have to give the name as a front lining and hit the enter button right click and then ok now we have to go to the modify rotate and we have to left click right click ok select the uh, reference point and then we can rotate it in a proper way go to the realign right click and then ok go to the create menu annotations left click right click and then ok now we have to give the name as a front lining down we have to cut two pieces left and right and then ok now these two three pieces has been generated now next last and final piece we have to draft that is the back lining go to the trace and we have to select the back pattern in a clockwise direction and we have to select the start also and then we have to give the name as a back lining right click and then ok now we have to go to the modifying tools rotate and we have to select it first of all go to the rotate left click right click and then ok rotational access point and another one point you have to select like this you can rotate it after making the rotations you go to the realign and we can realign the crane line after that we can see that these pieces has been lining pattern pieces has been eliminated we have to give the name to this piece go to the annotations click right click and then ok as a back lining and then ok now what we have to do next we have to cut we have to cut this piece as a one so we have to go to the edit annotations we have to select the annotations and we have to enter here cut one and then ok so now finally all the pieces of the waistcoat lining patterns has been generated now we have to apply the stitching allowances to all these patterns so for that purpose we have to go to the advanced menu define and we have to select this line and we have to apply the stitching allowances as a 0 0.7 centimeter right click and then ok now this is the 
side panel so we have to enter here one centimeter we have to select this line right click and then ok we have to enter one and hit the enter button to come to the hem line we have to enter here also one centimeter and hit the enter button right click and then ok now you come to this join part here also we have to put uh, we have to enter here also the seam allowances we have to select right click and then ok we have to enter one hit the enter button similarly line go to the define select line right click and then ok and enter the one centimeter and then right click again ok now this lining has has been drafted seam allowances has been applied into this pattern again we have to select uh, apply here over here for this piece front part so we have to go to the define and we have to select this line all side uh, we have to put here as a one centimeter and hit the enter button right click and then ok now similarly we have to come to this back part of the lining piece so we have to go to the define menu and we have to select entire line except the mirror line right click and then ok we have to enter one centimeter right click and then ok now we can see that all these lines patterns has been completely designed for the waist coat lining patterns so if you want to mirror this one you can mirror it you go to the modifying tools mirror and you can mirror this back piece right click and then ok so now this mirror has been generated over here again if you want to apply the mirror uh, this piece and this piece I hope that this class will be very much helpful for you the lining patterns drafting we have learned it's a very complicated task but in a such a easy way I have explained you about the lining patterns of the waist coat so I hope that in these three parts you have a learn about the waist coat which is the very important uh, formal wear garments usually worn into the entire world it's a very uh, demandable products so you have learned in the part thirds in first second and third parts we have made the classes for this styles i hope this class will be helpful for you thanks